implementation another e standing for experience and finally exploration as per what i could understand is that you keep performing the experiments after performing the experiments you gain your experience and once you have done both the experimentation and the gaining of experience you are ready to explore more and more so today we are going to restrict ourselves to the space exploration we'll talk about the space how uh, the uh, exploration of space started and we'll remain focused on three nations the soviet union which is now russia usa and finally the india scenario okay so before we move ahead i would like to show you a brief video because my talk is going to be different different in the sense is that we'll have minimum text and maximum photograph photos and the video so that they leave a impact an impinging impact on your memory so before we start i would like to visit this small video on the video was not clear okay so was the audio also uh, were you able to hear the audio as well no ma'am no ma'am no no ma'am awaaz nahi aa rahi thi no ma'am no ma'am you not hear uh, able to hear the audio are you sure none of you yes ma'am yes ma'am but i shared the video with the audio only ma'am this audio was not clear so that is a connectivity issue but you were able to hear it or not not ma'am no, ma'am you were not able to hear anything okay then i am stopping sharing and then i'll share it again with you people let me check me here i can Mom, again, this video was not clear. Sorry, you are not able to hear the sound again. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
No, ma. No, ma. No, ma. Then I think we will have no, to wait for five minutes. Just yeah. wait for five minutes. Ask your uh, sir to stop recording. Ma'am, okay, uh, if you share this video on this letter, it is audible. Sorry. Ma'am, if you share this video on the laptop on your PC. Yes, I'm doing it on my laptop only. I'm using my laptop only. Okay. I'm not using my phone because phone obviously is not at all compatible. I'm using my laptop only. Let me shift my laptop. I hope there is no problem for your from your end. Maha se to kuch nahi block kiya ma. Ma'am, it was not clear. Abhi bhi clear nahi aari hai. Ma'am, the video is clear. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, but uh, this audio was. Ma'am, your voice is totally clear, ma'am. No, but uh, I was sharing a video. These students are telling me that they are not able to listen the audio. So for that, now, ma'am, why, like me, why, why you are sharing the video, now, ma'am? And uh, huh? there was that one particular uh, button below that include the system sound. No, no, I have done that. I do it quite oftenly. I have done that also, but just give me two minutes in that case. Okay, ma'am. Just give me two minutes. Just stop recording and then we'll start it again. कहा है फोल्डर वीडियो चलेगी क्या वीडियो का बैकअप कहा है नहीं चलेगी इसको दस बार मैंने बोला ना मेरी गलती है कि मैंने तुम लोगों को लास्ट मोमेंट तक विश्वास दस बार ही लेकर चुकी कि मुझे पूरा फोल्डर चाहिए चलेगी इसका पता लगे इसका पता लगे Okay, so am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just skipping the video. I don't know why you people are yes, not hearing it because. My college students are able to hear my video through this sharing. I don't know what is the problem at your end. Doesn't matter. Okay, so when we talk about the space exploration, initially it all started with astronomy. The astronomers used to learn more about space and explore more of the space through rockets initially. Initially, in fact, through telescopes. Because through telescopes, they used to sit here and uh, just visualize the space, okay, and explore it. Later on, with after the telescopes, when uh, robots came, then human beings started moving on to the space. And that is how it all started. So the exploration, there are certain very important things when we talk about exploration, how, why, and where. Like how when we talk about how the space exploration started, it all started with astronomers exploring initially with telescopes. Then we have robotic space probes, which was unmanned. And finally, the human being was able to reach out to the space and explore the space. And why? Why is the space exploration considered very important? Because obviously it is a matter of a pride for a nation.
that once a nation is able to explore space, the nation obviously feel very proud of itself. Then it is obviously to explore more and more and to talk about one's own scientific research, enhanced communication through TV channels, internet services, etc. And one important thing of space exploration was that it was connecting different nations. It was connecting various countries together. And obviously, at later stages, at times, it was strategic also. Then, where? Like, if you have studied chemistry, and I, being a chemist by heart, cannot throw chemistry out of any presentation. So by default, every presentation of mine carries some or the other impact of chemistry. So like there are various spheres of atmosphere, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. This takes place, the space exploration takes place only in thermosphere. It is in thermosphere where, you know, you have a lot of space exploration and the international space stations, etc., are also there in thermosphere. Then before we move ahead, let us talk about the history of the space exploration. Now, when we talk about the history, the very first thing that comes into our mind is the launch of the first rocket that was V2 missile. And this missile was a weapon which was developed by German scientists. Out of a blue moon, it's a German scientist. And this was developed in World War II. The technology that time was obviously much advanced according to that time. And hence, this was the first, you can say, the rocket that was launched. And it was based on a liquid propellant fuel. Then, initially... The space exploration, as you must be knowing, that there were two countries which were mainly uh, which were mainly participating in the exploration of the space, and these two countries were. Can some anybody tell me the two countries which which were a part of space exploration? Russia, and yes, Russia. Russia. And, uh, and the United States. Yes. Very good, very good. So these two were the countries, and if you look at the history. Initially, these two countries started exploration of the space for a space race. What do we mean by space race? Space race means that there was a tussle. Both of these nations, because they were big, big powers at that time, and both of these nations, they wanted to prove themselves to be superior, to be better than the other. So with the feeling of rivalry that they started space exploration. and. Russia won it, and the first, uh, Sputnik first uh, one was the artificial satellite, which was, uh, you know, launched by the Soviet Union in October 1957, okay? Okay, ma'am. Just a minute, there is again some problem. Okay. Ab phir dikh raha hai sabko? No ma'am. No ma'am. Are kya ho raha hai bhaiya? Screen to shared hai. Screen shared hai ma'am par aa nahi raha kuch. Mere side se to connectivity issue kuch nahi hai. Ma'am you don't able to see the slides. अब बताओ यस मैम नॉट 
So Sputnik 1 was the first satellite which was launched by Russia in the year 1967. Okay, now with the launch of the satellite, there were many firsts with which Russia was associated. Before we move on to that, along with the first artificial satellite, Russia also sent the first life in space, which was a dog. Which was a dog. And that dog was known as Laika. The name was Laika. And this is the picture of the dog. And it was a pretty dog. And, and it was known as the cosmonaut dog. Then apart from, from sending first life, which was an animal, a dog, Russia also sent a human being. And that human being was Yuri Gagarin in the year 1961. Okay. Somebody was speaking something? Okay. No, no. Okay, so Yuri Gagarin, he became the first human in space orbiting the Earth one. And uh, he was traveling in a spacecraft named Vostok 1. Okay, so again, I have a brief video for you all to just see, and I hope that you are able to hear the audio. Audio was not clear. I mean, clear, but not the audio. Are you clear? Are you clear? Are you clear? Video to start with it. फिर से नहीं चल रहा है बच्चों तुम्हारा ऑडियो का आई थिंक तुम्हारी तरफ से कुछ प्रॉब्लम है मैम आप थ्योरी थ्योरी पार्ट करवा दो वीडियो बाद चलो ठीक है मैम यू कैन शेयर दी चैट बॉक्स इफ पॉसिबल चैट बॉक्स में मैं कैसे शेयर करूं वीडियो दैट इज द प्रेजेंटेशन हाउ कैन इट बी शेयर्ड इन चैट बॉक्स यही तो कह रहा था मैं Okay, so let us skip this. So uh, first woman in space, the Russia also sent first women in space. Okay, so Russia also sent first women in space, and apart from that, this woman, I don't know what is happening. Ma'am, a video ko chhod do. Ma'am, ab theory jo ab karwaye the, wohi karwa do. Ha, mujhe bhi yehi lag raha hai. Ma'am, kyunki isme time waste ho raha hai, to isme sahi hai yehi padhlete. 
that's true. Welcome. So the first woman, uh, she boarded Vostok 6. So just see from 1961, from Vostok 1 to Vostok 6, in two years, we came to Vostok 6. And with, with this, Russia had many firsts. The first living being in the orbit, 1957. The first human being, Yuri Gagarin. The first spacewalk by Alexei Leonov. The first automatic landing on another celestial body in 1966, and apart from that, Salute 1 in 1971 became the first space station. So all these first are to the credit of Russia. Now, apart from Russia in parallel, US was also working for space exploration. And in this mission of exploring the space, U.S. launched its first satellite, Explorer 1, on January 31, 1958. It was the first spacecraft, and the best part was that it, that spacecraft was even able to detect the Venn Ellen radiation belt. Now, there was a Cold War. That is why, right in the beginning, I told you that it was a space race between Russia and U.S., but slowly and slowly, the USA moving ahead. Now, Russia sent the first human being on the space. USA was able to land the first human being on moon. Armstrong, uh, astronaut Neil Armstrong landed the moon in the year 1969, and he became the first human being to step into the moon. And that was the victory of USA over Russia, because Russia, despite of its several efforts, was not able to make anyone land the moon. I think I have to skip this video as well. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Just kar. see if you can. Ab skip kar do, agla, then start with. Ma'am, the voice was not audible. Ma'am, yes. Can you all of you please just maintain silence? Okay, the voice was not available. That is what you have been saying. But could you see the video? Yes, ma'am. So wasn't the video itself appealing, even if the audio is not audible? Could you see the joy in the face of the people who are there on landing on moon? Could you see them joyfully, happily, you know, uh, having their flags being uh, put on the moon? Could you see that? Yes, Even sir. if the audio, that is what we have to learn better because in this era of, you know, digital thing, there are some technical snags which at times we are not able to overcome. But at the same time, we should have a positive attitude. Even if you were not able to listen the audio, it doesn't matter, but at least the video can be appreciated, correct? Yes. Okay, so from the era of rivalry between USA and USSR, the two nations soon realized that, you know, being uh, remaining rivals is not going to help them much. And mm -hmm. then 
they finally decided in 1972 to join hands and come together through the Apollo Soyuz test project. So that was a meet that happened in 1972 between the Russian and the Americans under the Apollo Soyuz test project. And this led to the first international mission operated jointly by USA and Russia. So Apollo Soyuz was the first international space mission which happened in July 1975. And in this mission, the US used the Apollo modu module and the Soviet Union used the capsule for the launch. And this ASTP became a big, big game changer because the space rivalry was converted into a space cooperation project. And that strengthened the dissolution of the, and this further strengthened when the Soviet Union got fragmented into Russia and other countries, okay? These are the pictures of the joint mission that I'm showing. And this is the Apollo Soyuz. Now, whenever we have such space missions, obviously, <coughs> big, big organizations work towards it. In Russia, the organization that was working for the space exploration was Roscosmos. This was a major, you know, the game changer in Russia. And this was as such established way back in 1930s. They had a space mission in 1930s. And as an outcome of that space mission, Roscosmos was established. So... Roscosmos has done a lot of work in space exploration. It was able to launch the world's first satellite. The first human space flight was also launched by them. And the first space station, Salyut 1, was also going, to, uh, was also to the credit of the Russian Roscosmos. And currently, they are actively involved in building the International Space Station, in which it is a major partner. Now, let us study something more about Roscosmos. As I just mentioned, the Soviet space program, which was founded in 1930, Roscosmos was established as a result of it. And it has been restructured many times because of the disintegration of Soviet Union. And this is the main body which is taking care of space flights, cosmonautic programs, and aerospace research. Now, apart from Russia in parallel, there was a body under the name of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is operational in USA. It is a US government agency. And it opened in October 1958. It again was, you know, established to look into the space exploration and aeronautic research, but it has diverted to various other fields. And currently, NASA is developing a number of cutting edge aircrafts, which is a big, big advance in aviation. It is not only improving air transportation, but it is also responsible for enriching the US economy and the strengthening of its security. And the first, uh, you know, the human being which landed on moon in 1969, Yuri Gagarin, it is all to the credit of NASA. And in the year 2018, it celebrated its 60th anniversary. And in this anniversary, it basically, a major chunk of the celebration was, you know, devoted. It was mainly for the sacrifices that were made by NASA. Because, you know, whenever you have any space exploration, all those people who participate in space exploration you are not sure whether the space exploration will be a success or not. And in case it is not successful, in case it is not able to come back to the Earth successful, and 
if human beings are traveling in that spacecraft then it is a big big risk to the human life and so a lot of sacrifices has been done by nasa not only in terms of various space explorations which were not successful but also in terms of you know hours and months together that the team spent at the nasa headquarters far away from their family helping in the development of nation the spirit behind with which these people work for the space exploration and the development of the country and if you remember can you recollect whose picture is this kalpana chawla no i just mentioned that in the celebration 60th anniversary celebration a uh, major chunk was devoted to those people who lost their life uh and due to unsuccessful space exploration so this is sunita williams and you can see she is in a gym this again is a video let me just play the video if you are not able to enjoy the audio at least you can enjoy the video so this is sunita williams so you can see her pictures also and the all these pictures she was all alone and all these pictures were in the space craft and the initial video which i showed you there there was a gym a small gym in the space craft so though she was there in the space craft for months together but still she was enjoying she was enjoying herself doing all her regular activities like gymming etc okay so this is the spirit one with which one has to move ahead aur aajkal hum kya kar rahe hain because of corona we are locked down in our homes so we feel so depressed we feel so lonely and at times we get so frustrated am i right yeah you are na aap log ke sath bhi yes ma but seekho yes, kuch seekho yes ma you are right seekho sunita williams and kalpana chawla and rakesh sharma they were in space away from everybody and the life in space is not going to be easy it's very difficult there is no gravity the people keep flying so for every activity they have to be very very careful and still these astronauts have they have spent months together in the space alone and yet enjoying in the video which i showed you even though the audio i uh, is not you know you are not able to hear the audio but still the facial expression you can see and you can very well appreciate the kind of joy these people were having the kind of satisfaction with which the, she was doing a gym which is obviously an activity other than her regular routine so this is what we learn from these people ki aap jo bhi task kare jis bhi profession mein jaye jo bhi kaam kare you have to do it with passion you have to do it with your hearts you have to put all your feelings and at the best of it enjoy it tell me how many of you enjoy learning how many of you enjoy studying tell me ma'am me ma'am me yes ma'am ma i also enjoy learning me. okay mai kabhi school bhi aaungi tumhare और फिर मैं एक एक से पूछूंगी कि यू रियली एंजॉय सुनीता विलियम ये थी ना जो सबसे ज्यादा घंटे स्पेस में रही थी डेज हाँ हाँ यही थी वो और काफी शी वाज द फर्स्ट पर्सन वुमेन टू नॉट द फर्स्ट वुमेन फर्स्ट वुमेन मैंने आपको दिखाई है रशियन थी नॉट फॉर वुमेन ठीक है यस मैम ओके तो यही मैं दिखा रही हूँ शी सेट शी वॉज सेंग दैट शी वॉज देयर फॉर थ्री मंथ्स टूगेदर एंड दैट इज हाउ शी वॉज एंजॉइंग डूइंग दी जिम तो ये सोचो कि इतने महीनों आदमी अकेले स्पेस में है कोई उससे बात करने वाला नहीं है कोई उसके पास इंटरनेट नहीं है देर इज नो टीवी देर आर नो मोबाइल देर इज नो व्हाट्सएप देर इज नो फेसबुक एंड स्टिल द फीमेल इज एंजॉइंग एंड शी वॉज अवेयर ऑफ इट दैट विद इन अ फ्यू मंथ दी क्योंकि ये उसे पता चल गया था कि टाइल उसकी जो स्पेसक्राफ्ट था उसकी टाइल निकल गई है जब लॉन्च हुआ था इनिशियल स्टेजेस में ही पता चल गया था कि वो निकल गई है बस पीपल वाज वेटिंग टू एंड इट ओवर सो सुनीता विलियम्स वाज वेरी वेल अवेयर ऑफ इट बट स्टिल शी एंजॉयड ओके स्टिल शी एंजॉयड विदाउट इवन अ सिंगल ड्रॉप ऑफ पेन ऑन अ फेस 
okay so now yes, we sir. come to the indian scenario we have talked about russian scenario we have talked about american scenario now we talk about the indian scenario in india dr vikram sarabhai is known as the father of indian space program and obviously india though it gained independence in 1947 that is how the development the progress of india was slightly delayed and it was only in 1969 that isro the indian national Co uh, committee for space research was you know responsible for formation of isro which is an indian body yeah. and it is involved in the space exploration program for india and you can see the picture of vikram and you can see the second picture is a bullet cart and the third picture is the bicycle so he was just you know at that point of time we were not at all developed and you know the facilities we were having very poor facilities and so the bullet carts cycles etc they were used to carry uh, the parts of the launchers and the rocket from one place to another and that is why vikram sarabhai himself was riding a bicycle and so it is known as from a bicycle to a billion dream because vikram sarabhai is known as the father of the indian space program then obviously we have few more legends who were involved with isro one such hero all of us are aware of our former president dr apj abdul kalam he is known as the missile man for his work in development of ballistic missile and the launch vehicle apart from Ms. dr kalam uh, we had dr u and rao who was who basically built the india's first satellite we also have dr k radhakrishnan who again led isro to achieve 37 space missions including the mars orbiter mission okay so these are all heroes which we even don't acknowledge which we even don't know because they are working behind the screen they are working behind this page and just for india they also want indian flag to be unfurled at moon at mars and so these people i have worked tirelessly day and night for our nation then do you see whose picture is this this is rakesh sharma the first indian to land in space mm -hmm. and this was in which year ma'am 20 july 1969 69 kaha aa gaya 69 84 84 2 april 1984 very good lag raha hai google baba chal rahe hain saath mein ma'am ne ne ye maine google baba nahi khola ma'am honest bola aaj acha to kya khola ma'am kuch main koi google hi nahi kholi ma'am honest answer bola ma'am acha theek hai chalo tumhari honesty ko appreciate karte hain theek hai okay so as a part of the joint man mission between india and soviet union he went into the space and he spent 8 days in the russian space station salyut 7 salyut padhaya tha na ki russia uh, ne first space station banaya tha yes sir and again i have a video i don't know why you people are not hearing the audio there is some problem at your end because i use the same gadget to interact with my students and they are able to hear the video i don't know what is the technical fact but at that time who was the prime minister of india डॉक्टर अरे प्राइम मिनिस्टर भैया एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम तो प्रेसिडेंट थे इंदिरा गांधी यस बिकॉज शी वॉज असैसिनेटेड इन अक्टूबर नाइनटीन एटी फोर राकेश शर्मा वेंट इन टू दिस फेस एंड शी वॉज इंटरक्टिंग टू राकेश शर्मा ठीक है अब मैं वीडियो तो दिखा दूंगी अगर तुम्हें समझ आता है तो बताना वॉट वॉज दिन अच्छा वो मैं बाद में दिखाऊंगी अभी ये वीडियो फर्स्ट इंडियन सिटीजन इन स्पेस एंड यू अगेन यू कैन सी दॉय ऑन हिस्स फेस ही वॉज सो हैपी ही वॉज सो प्राउड टू बी दर्स्ट इंडियन रीचिंग आउट दिस स्पेस देन इन इंडिया वी ऑल्सो हैव अर फर्स्ट सैटेलाइट आर्यभ्ट विच वॉज लॉन्च यूजिंग रशियन बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम 
we used to collaborate with Russia for all such space exploration. Okay, so first satellite was launched in 1975 by India and it was named as R Rebut. It was totally designed, totally fabricated in India. Okay, total India tha ye. And jo naam rakha gaya Aarabha, that was after the name of great Indian astronomer of this with the same name. Okay, and it worked very beautifully. Aarabha was a big success in terms of Indian exploration program. Mm -hmm. Then there are few more achievements to the credit of ISRO. Like we have already talked about the missile man, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, a former president of the country. In 2008, Chandrayaan-1, the first unmanned lunar mission was launched. In 2016, again, IRNS was system was known, which was mainly for marine navigation. Then the satellite program, the inset program was also there, which was keeping a telecommunication broadcasting system in place. We also had the Indian remote sensing satellite program, IRS, to manage all our natural resourcing and to monitor our environment. So Chandrayaan 1, which was launched in 2008, was the first program by India, the first mission to the moon in 2008 and it, as i have just said it was a big big success and the major objective of the program was to provide complete map uh, of the chemical composition of the surface and the three dimensional topography of moon so it was mainly to study the composition of the moon that the chandrayaan one was launched in october 2008 now, when was Chandrayaan 2 launched? Ma'am, the original tha wo July mein hona tha. Ma 15 July. Kaun se year mein? Ma'am, 2018 mein. Kisi ne dekha nahi TV? It right. was 2019. 2019 last, year. last year. Yes, ma'am. Chandrayaan 2 was launched last year. It was it consisted of an orbital. Chandrayaan was in the movie, na? Ma'am, there ah. was a uh, uh, this in the movies. Chandrayaan was late, was launched yet. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Chandrayaan was? Chandrayaan was late launched yet. Yeah, yeah. It was slightly delayed due to some technical problem. But it has an orbiter, a land, a lander, a lunar rover, or everything was indigenous, made in India. Again, it was it was basically launched with an objective to study various variations in the surface of the moon. Okay, so what happened yes. was that in September 2019, we lost the communication to the Chandrayaan two. So as such, it was not a big success. But yes, we are learning from our drawbacks. We are learning from our failures. And next year, early to 2021, we are preparing to launch Chandrayaan-3. Now this Chandrayaan-2, now before uh, we move on to more things, I would like to show you one more picture. This is Kalpana Chabla. Yes, ma'am. This is yes, the first Indian woman to go. Yes, okay, and she died in space shuttle yes, in Columbia disaster in 2003. And she is known as the national hero in India. Okay, she also knew all these astronauts, whether it is William, Sunita Williams, or Kalpana Chawla, they were very young when they agreed to go to space. And when you agree to go to space, you are not sure whether you are going to be returning back successfully or failure. And a failure of a space mission means that you lose your life. And still, both of these ladies and many more volunteered themselves. They volunteered very proudly to go for a space exploration. Now, this Chandrayaan 2 mission, which unfortunately lost the communication in September 2019 is very close to our heart yes. because of simple reason. 
that these two ladies, Sita Soma Sundaram and Nandini Harinath, you know, these were closely associated with Chandrayaan Two mission, and they're also known as India's Rocket Woman. And I take big pride in mentioning that both these ladies did B.Sc. Honors Physics from Hindu College. Both of them, they are the former student, the ex-student of Hindu College, Delhi University. Both of them did physics honors from our college. And they happen to be my seniors because I also graduated from Hindu College. And these two ladies were three to four years senior to me. So they studied there. And at that point of time, I have deliberately shown their pictures to you just to tell you that it doesn't that you have to be always, you know, extraordinary. No, these two females were not all that extraordinary, but because of their passion for space, because of their consistent hard work, because of, you know, their zeal to do more for their nation. That is how they are associated with Chandrayaan too. And if you talk to them, they're absolutely down to earth females. They have absolutely no egos. You can just call them up and talk to them at any point of time. They're absolutely down to earth women. So my point for you, I think most of you are from class 12, am I right? Yes, ma'am. So if you mo are moving in a right direction, choosing a right course or career option, then all such ventures are even open for students like you. All of you can be astronauts or all of you can be, you know, you use your talent for space exploration. That is why I'm showing the pictures to you right now. Then Mangalyaan, which is another mission, the mission to Mars is known as the Mangalyaan. This is the biggest success in space. It was launched in November 9, 2013, and it entered into the Mars in September 2014, almost 10 after 10 months. And India is the first nation in the world to enter the Mars orbit in its first attempt. So this is how the hard work speaks about. Though in space exploration, we, we lag behind US and Russia. We are far behind them, but still, because of our hard work and because we wanted to do something, we became the first nation to land on Mars in our first attempt. So that is why Mangal Yan is Isro's biggest success in space. Now, Isro initially was set up with certain objectives. Major objective was to explore Mars, to study its topography, to study the atmosphere, to study the solar winds, radiation, everything that was going on to the Mars. This was the mission of Mangalyaan. That's it. So we started with experimentation, experience, and exploration. And we are winding up with the same thing. Experimentation and research is very important for humanity. Unless and until we do experiment, which is then converted into research, I don't think that we'll be able to gain anything without it. <laughs> Once we do a lot of experimentation, get involved in research, and uh, finally we gain a lot of experience. And once we have a background of research, a sound background of research, with our experience, we are ready to explore anything. Space is only one of them, okay? With our hard work, with our ex experimentation, research, experience, we can explore anything on this universe. Yes, sir. And this is the video I was talking about. Here you can see the prime minister of that time, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, talking to Rakesh Sharma. I would like you to tell me what was the conversation going on. Yes, ma'am, I read it somewhere that I think Indra Gandhi asked 
Rakesh Sharma that how does India looks from space and he replied beautiful I think so this was the so conversation. just beautiful beautiful is a very spot huh सुन पा रहे हो सुनाई दिया आप यस मैम क्या सुनाई दिया मैम शी आज हेम की ऊपर से भारत कैसे दिखता है आपको एंड राकेश शर्मा से कि वो बिना किसी हेजिटेशन के कह सकते हैं सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदू ठीक है उन्होंने ऊपर से यही जवाब दिया सारे जहां से अच्छा सो दिस इज दी पैशन फॉर द नेशन ठीक है एंड यू कैन सी दी स्माइल ऑन दी फेस ऑफ दी देन प्राइम मिनिस्टर so she could not go to this phase but she could feel that so i think all of us should have that kind of a feeling and so we should work ahead not only for our own self but also for our nation okay that's it thank yes, you so much if there are any yes. questions i'll be more than happy to answer your questions or queries is any ma'am i yes. see bangalore mein mujhe admission lena waise ma'am Stop sharing. Yes, ma'am. 